dear learner when we'll open our that fresh software then we'll see nothing here actually suppose if i create a wall here so how i can see its front view or south view north view how this is not available here so this is the issue of elevation problem that's why we use default template because there everything is predefined but if we don't want to use any template or anything then how we can go for it first of all we need to set our boundary area i mean where we'll work and where our work will be visible so for that you have to come here and we'll click here extend then click crop view then just click here okay the crop design so here already it's okay if i i can take or i can increase its visibility area okay, done. then i'll uncheck it again if i click here for default 3d view just see this will be our default 3d view and if i click here for realistic we'll see a realistic mode now the question is how we can see the right side view if required or if i just click here by clicking your mouse how you can see east then how we can see south view if i need to show the north font i mean that font how we can see that directly in another view so to do that we use elevation and it's missing now here it's not visible so how we can edit that i will just go here view then they have option elevation okay so here's the option for elevation there are two types of elevation plotting elevation and elevation we will discuss about that elevation option at this time and then later that one so I'll click elevation and suppose here i will set one okay and what is the site i mean uh, which site it will be visible or which site is that actually so what i can do that and, and another thing i have to show you here a elevation option is available now if i just click here and if i go to the realistic view just see only only that uh single part of that is visible okay and if i go in level here just see from that value is visible not whole not from uh, that direction from that direction so first of all we have to identify the direction so to do that i will take a extra line here or extra wall so that i can identify so in that direction which direction will be in uh, i mean the parallel to that line we'll find out first so for that simply i'll just go to 3d and i'll just come here and see here the line in that direction that direction that is south right line in that direction that is south here is the south direction here is the south direction so what i'll do actually i'll just go here and i'll click it i'll click here rotate and by taking it per, uh, perfectly then take it, it as a 90 degree just see it's moved now escape and double click here so when you click here when you click or or uh, if i double click here just see this now visible but but if i go for a realistic view our elements are not showing and if i click here you can see our element is here but this is our boundary line so how do you can do that i can move it here then i can move it here and if i go to our elevation view just see this is available so this is available this is okay for our uh, that direction view but not in elevation it's not covered in elevation so i'll just come here and by clicking here i will increase or height or anything and perfectly i will be able to do it just see now it's also visible in uh, elevation view and also visible here so you can move it anywhere you need 
you can move it anywhere in it as per your project base but you have to remember that what you are doing so if you click here or if i just come here if i just click here then if you go here it will be selected just move it here as per your requirement and increase that as per your project dimension or project requirement clear so when it's okay when it's okay now what i can do that we can take uh, another elevation for different side so here for elevation i'll take some elevation here some here and some here so i'll take it and i'll move it little bit away and i'll rotate it okay so for that i'll click that on then 90 degree just rotate it done but uh, what i'll do actually now now i'll go for so what is that actually i've done mistake actually so i'll close that one or uh, it's okay just we have to follow the name here follow the name so first of all for that one if i click here or uh, if i just right click then or if i select that one and click on delete then see you will see a message this is 1a 1a will be deleted so what is the 1a is the 1a i'll right click i will re re rename it and what is that south right that is south so that on a south so if we click on that option south then our south ele elevation will be opened here again in south what is another that is north so i'll take it here i will click it and if i take mouse i'll see elevation 2 here elevation 2 i right click and i will rename north done again uh, for that one so if i come to 3d and in that side that is east and west here or that one that one will be east elevation 3 so elevation 3 right click east and that one will be west so 4 on west that's it you can actually you can rename it no problem so this is the way to modify everything and now if i click here just see uh i will take that line from that point to that point also you can increase from that point to from that point to that point now the question is why we'll go for that difficult work or why we'll do it um several time right so what i can do actually what we can do we can use default template so already i have shown you that how we can add default template so in our next lecture i will add that i will use that default template and we will start working i just wanted to show you that how we can uh, manipulate that as per our cells if we need to use uh, some uh, template that is not okay with every element so thank you thank you very much